We're at the Sunset Marquee in West Hollywood, California, in my hotel room. I'm gonna have breakfast with Juliette Lewis, who's one of my best friends and also sort of soulmate. Juliette has a new movie out with Meryl Streep. I think Meryl Streep plays her mother and Julia Roberts plays her sister. So it's pretty, pretty big year for her. We're just gonna gab like we always do. What are we going to get for breakfast? Oh, shouldn't we start it like this? Oh, like, oh like, what oh. a night. Your makeup looks great. <laughs> Thanks. I always wake up with a lip. <laughs> breakfast is my favorite meal. Yeah. This union right here. <laughs> it's like Lucy and Ethel take Manhattan. Yes, Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley, Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> You were a teen star. First photo shoot I had to do, you know, and they have designer clothes and stuff. And that's fun, I played dress up. It's not bad, I've learned to appreciate it. But back in the day, I was like, what? What, can we just not have makeup on? I wanted yeah. to be in my weird 70s. I was wearing patchwork 70s pants because I only shopped vintage mm -hmm. when I was 19. And I wanted to be photographed like the, the guys do, like uh, James Dean, just, who you grew yeah. up with, De Niro. And I didn't understand the... Why you had to wear a heel and a lip. Yeah. So if you were 17, 18, going to the Oscars with Brad Pitt, wearing cornrows, I can only imagine the the. That's awesome. Can we just? Stop you would go and say viral. That's awesome. You, it's, it was awesome then, and it's awesome now. I had no stylist. I had no hair and makeup team. I was like, oh, I got nominated. I'm going to the royal ball. You know, it's, it's like the ball. And so I got a vintage gown from a thrift shop store that was really beautiful. I, of course, tacked it up, tacked yeah. it, made it not good <laughs> by putting weird beads and some gloves. I so. didn't have the best taste. But the dress itself was pretty. And then, you know where the cornrows came from? Because when I was younger, people don't know the little lives I've led. But I hung around uh, a certain crowd and I had um, gangs, what I call gangster braids. Mm -hmm. And I felt really strong and beautiful in those braids. So I was like, what should my hair be? Oh, I'm going to get my gangster braids. I kid you not. This is how simple my mind was. No, but I like it, though, because you were, like, finding your, your... That was where you felt your strongest. That's where I felt. So you were like, I'm going into this int intense night. To me, beauty and I'm going is to owning all of yourself, being strong and raw. That was my version of beauty at 19. Kind of still is. People don't really remember me for fashion sense or being a major beauty yeah. or anything. Thank God. They really remember my characters and that's, I hope, yeah. that's what I'm after. That's what <laughs> like all actresses should hope for. It makes sense that I love to play characters because when I was growing up I just would swap identities. I went through such a long identity crisis, I like to call it. It all had uniforms. I was like new wave, I was a b-girl. I had, this is the most exciting thing you're gonna learn about me. I had fake acrylics, bamboo earrings. I wore like Fila and Adidas. <laughs> And did you do like hip hop dancing? I or... dated a dancer who would like battle at clubs. <laughs> <laughs> and you're never That's gonna amazing. find it online. This is what's no. amazing. The it's internet just for does you. not it's own just everything. In your heart. Hi, I just wanted to check on um, on our room service order. I wish there was like jewels on your turban. I wish so too. It's just a scarf. What's happening? Well, I was thinking oh. you could put like that on there. Oh, yes. Or like that owl. What about the sheriffs? <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm in town. My thrift now shop just scarf look, just went up just in value. Kind of ridiculous. Hey. <laughs> I don't, and that I don't I mind. I think we, we took it to another level of just like great guard, great garden That's, style. That's, yes. Oh, let's get our Oh, great. Make like a pillow table. Yeah. You've done this before. Sorry. Wow, I'm trying to be rock and roll. Right. Yeah, like, I'm trying yeah. to like, yeah, I'm trashing the room. <laughs> See, I'm the type of person that'll wreck and then oh, clean and it. Clean it yeah. yeah, I'll be like, come on guys, where's the broom? <laughs> I'm very happy when I get to have incredible opportunities. Like this last little run I've had in August Osage County that was from a play with right. Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts. Like, Meryl Streep is your mother. Yeah. Incredible. Working with her, her talent, and her as an individual 
is this beautiful, down-to-earth, family-oriented person. So stuff like that, you're like, oh, this is how you can do this business and not go insane. Is it better to have loved no. and lost than never to have I'm loved at all? I'm starting to feel like not loving at all is the way to go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I've also that, yeah. found out as you get older, you realize certain times where you thought you were so heartbroken, it's really just like you were stubbing your toe. It yeah. still hurts, yeah. but it, you didn't break your toe. Here's what you do learn living with yourself for a little while longer than when you're 20 and you know get older, is that you know you can bounce back. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to go hog wild on this bed. Tune into the Teen Vogue channel for more Breakfast with Bevan. Is this the best breakfast yet? Comment below. And How do we up the ante of this interview? I what? want mine to be the best. <laughs> Check out the bonus footage to see Juliet read an email from the beginning of our friendship.